I'm sorry about this one. It's going to be a personal one for me. And uh, so I wanted to say happy Pi Day to everybody, okay? And my son's birthday, Ryan James, he, uh, it's his birthday today. And I miss him so much. I haven't seen him now in three years. And he's turning 10. He's a great kid, and he's kind of, kind of confused this whole thing, and, and I spoke to him this morning, and I hadn't spoke to him in two over a year, and his, his sister, Chris, so let me talk to him, and his mother's blockaded me from, you know, she's doing everything she can to make sure she can't talk to my children, you know, for, because she's been controlled by demons and evil force, folks, and, uh, so anyway, you know, happy birthday to Ryan James, and please pray for him that uh, I get to see him someday. Because I really miss that guy, and I had a great time you know, with him. And he's a good kid. He uh, was always kind of worked hard around the house and did his chores and clean, and never really threw a complaint. But uh, you know, and he doesn't. He, I never. He he. I didn't. I talked to him a little bit, but uh, his cell phone. I always try to call his cell phone and. All he does is he has a wireless, uh, they don't have a lot of money, and he, uh, so I can never get a hold of him, right? And his, their mother just loves the fact, you know. She constantly says, I'm going to never ever, ever see your kids again. And that stings, folks, because I was a great dad. Head coach with them, I used to take him to uh, build things. Uh, Meeting a Superman swing, long story about that in the backyard. I had a zip line run in the backyard through the trees. And boy, I just, man, I, 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 not to boast, but man, I was the best dad I could be. I used to have people say, you know, the younger uh, people in 20, they'd say, man, it seemed for my kids to me, your dad's the best dad. They said, wow, he's just so outgoing and loving and caring and listen to music. We used to actually even drive down the, the road, you know. I mean, so much to tell you about. With a karaoke machine, I pull in when I do baseball to uh, the coach, and we'd be singing on a karaoke machine that I actually put in the vehicle. It's hilarious. Singing a song before, you know, while we're driving in the parking lot, you know, something cheery and wonderful, right? And then, uh, then all those things are taken away. But that's okay, because then I got to focus on this mission. I guess it couldn't be this mission to help me be so world mad, but, uh, but boy, I sure miss Ryan. I miss my other uh, two sons as well, my daughter. But, uh, so anyway, here's what I'm getting at, though, about this, is that, I want to go back to Pi Day. Sorry about my personal Thank story, because we all have right. terrible stories about how things got kind of rough for all of us, right? Um, but, Pi Day is one thing that mankind or humankind cannot change. You know, man can change Turn right. the Bible. They can change history. I've seen that. Change all these things. But you can't change the Bible. I mean, you can't change Pi. Pi is God's... That's God's number. Do you know this? You can't change the Fibonacci, the golden ratio. You can't change that. Leonardo da Vinci and all these others, that's what they all studied. Pi and the Pythagorean theorem, all these other things, because they knew that that's probably the true words of your creator, of our universe, our existence, our reality. And Pi is, is a key. I'm going to tell you that right now, folks. It's a key to your creator, your God. It's one of those things that no matter what you do, you can't change it, ever. You can change everything else. You can change, you know, you can change everything in this world. Like I said, everything. But those are one of the things you can't change. It's always true. It's always 100% true. 3.145. Isn't amazing? So I do recommend if you have time to study more about Pi, and actually more about that, about understanding your creator. Um, in the prophet said when mankind can understand pi and calculate its digits out further, the prophets said they'll understand God 
it'll be probably the end of times. Well, we got computers that can calculate those numbers way out there, beyond a million digits. So those prophets were right. They just didn't know how it was going to be done. They didn't know we'd have computers to do those calculations for us, right? So anyway, um, I got to let you go. I got to cut this short. Sorry for long one of the things. So happy pie day. And uh, so no cake. And uh, it's going to be <laughs> more pie. So anyway, God bless you all. And I'm hoping you have a happy pie-filled day wherever you're at. Love you.